It is my singular honor and privilege to be back here at Prospect, this time to commission the U.S. 300 million Prospect Lithium Zimbabwe Spurgeman Petlite and Tantalum Processing Plant. I recall that in November 2018, we convened here when this area was merely an empty field for the groundbreaking ceremony commencing initial work at this site. In June 2021, we were back here again to commission the pilot petlite processing plant, which was a precursor to this bigger and more advanced, sophisticated processing plant with a total capacity of 4.5 million tons per year. As we look back, Prospect Lithium Zimbabwe is one of the main testimonies of the successes of the Second Republic under the Zimbabwe is open for business mantra and the engagement and re-engagement policy. This was augmented by the bold decision made by my administration in 2017 to adopt the easy of doing business reforms as well as the rapid results approach to project implementation. Due to the improved investment and business operating environment, our country subsequently saw unprecedented levels of investment, as well as the fast pace of project implementation across the board one of which is this particular project we are commissioning today. Over the past four years, the mining industry has jumped from being a United States 2.8 billion United States dollars industry to the present 12 billion US dollars mining industry. Zimbabwe under the Second Republic has become one of the most competitive mining jurisdictions on the continent. In this regard, my administration will continually consolidate the favorable business environment for win-win outcomes. The ZAN-PF government is unstoppable and delivering development that leaves no one and no place behind. Today, we are here in Goromonzi district. Only three weeks ago, we were in Chikomba district, the same province, Marshall and East, for the commissioning of the long-awaited Chivu Dam. that high-impact project which was successfully implemented by the Second Republic entails various components such as the Chivu Dam and Irrigation Scheme, Chivu Water Treatment Plan for the people of Chivu Town, and the Presidential Community Fisheries Scheme. <laughs> Additionally, my administration has completed Muchekera Nwa Dam and the Renua Bridge in Imudzi District, among many other roads, education, health, and the water infrastructure projects in this province, which are already benefiting our people. ZANPF is indeed the only party which is advancing the interests of the people of this great country, Zimbabwe, our motherland. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, on behalf of government, and indeed on my own behalf, 
I congratulate Prospect Lithium Zimbabwe for the milestone we have witnessed today. They have built this vast infrastructure in nine months. As a company, you have lived up to your own investment philosophy and a pledge to contribute to the local economy and society wherever you invest. Well done, Prospect Lithium Zimbabwe. This investment will undoubtedly contribute to the mining sector targets set out in the National Development Strategy, as well as our country's overall national vision, 2030. Further, as a company, you are answering to my government's call to realize economic growth, value addition, and beneficiation as well as diversity through increased production and productivity in the mining sector. In keeping with the lithium ore policy, the Spokesman Petlite and Tantalum Processing Plant being commissioned today is an important building block for the ongoing modernization and industrialization agenda for our motherland. The investment will further promote the domestication of value addition and a beneficiation of lithium ore. Lithium is the mineral of the present and the future. Hence, its beneficiation and a value addition by Prospect Lithium Zimbabwe will position our country as an emerging and competitive player in the global lithium value chain the world over. This is indeed a vote of confidence in Zimbabwe's investment climate. The intrinsic benefits include employment and empowerment opportunities, increased revenue, economic, most importantly, the growth of our country's gross domestic product. I call on the company to draw from its existing expertise and resource endowments within our SADC region to eventually manufacture lithium batteries and other components here in our motherland, Zimbabwe. I may have that in our private discussion. They have promised so. I want to particularly congratulate Prospect Lithium Zimbabwe for completing the construction of the plant in record time. I want uh, my Zimbabwean colleagues and uh, countrymen and women to adopt the Chinese work ethics. This resonates with the rapid results culture of my government and it speaks volumes about the work ethic of this entity. Makoro Koto Amtlop Prospect Lithium Zimbabwe. It is also commendable that you have lived up to the promises you made at the inception of this investment to create employment and empowerment opportunities for our people around Goromonzi. The current employment levels of over 3,000 people, including contractors, has improved the quality of life, livelihoods, and incomes for our people in this area. The community health and educational programs capacity building and skills transfer, sustainable environment management, infrastructure development, sport development, as well as humanitarian assistance implemented under corporate social responsibility projects, will undoubtedly leave a lasting legacy in the communities affected by this mining entity. The construction of classroom blocks and staff accommodation 
along with the other initiatives at Vuta Primary School is equally appreciated. I urge you to deliberately support the surrounding schools to increase capacity of our learners in the fields of science, technology, and innovation. You have told me that the lifespan of lithium here is 12 years. In the context of the lithium value chain, our young learners must be equipped to eventually play their part in the industrialization and the modernization agenda of our country. Meanwhile, the habilitation of Goromonzi Mutare Road, widening of Goromonzi Arcadia Road, and construction of a police base, among other infrastructure projects, dovetail with government's ongoing infrastructure agenda. These completed and ongoing initiatives are reflective of the intricate nexus between business and the host communities. Going forward, I challenge the prospect lithium Zimbabwe to also prioritize ball drilling for surrounding communities to enable our people to undertake income generating nutritional gardens and horticulture projects. In fact, to avoid you going to town to buy your vegetables and tomatoes and onions, make bowls around the community. They can grow those things, so just buy after work. The company is also to remain alive to the responsible mining initiative which I launched in May this year. The initiative seeks to ensure adherence to the laws of our country in terms of environmental management, migration, tax, labor relations, and the provisions of the Mines and Minerals Act, among other pieces of legislation in the global best practices. Over and above community engagement, aspects to do with the health and safety, as well as conditions of service of employees who are indeed in car of production and productivity should never be neglected. <laughs> Comrades and friends, allow me to take this opportunity to acknowledge and appreciate the investment support and solidarity that Zimbabwe continues to receive from the government as well as business entities of the People's Republic of China. Guided by our comprehensive strategic and cooperative partnership, my administration has benefited immensely from the facilities availed by the Chinese government under the able leadership of my dear brother. His Excellency President Xi Jinping. The resulting projects have accelerated our capacity to deliver quality infrastructure, not only for the benefit of Zimbabwe, but the Southern African region as a whole. Further, the mutually beneficial bilateral cooperation extends to energy. I'm sure you're aware that um, just now, our Minister of Energy said goodbye to load shedding two days ago. <laughs> that was as a result of a 1.3 billion extended to us, Zimbabwe, by His Excellency President Xi Jinping upon my visit to that great country. Our cooperation in agriculture, our mining, our ICT, health, environment and tourism sectors, among others. These have had a positive impact on the Second Republic's quest to lift many more of our people out of poverty and into a higher quality of life. Whereas countries in the West desire and aspire to have us suffer, our friends of the People's Republic of China 
designed as past to prosper. Hallelujah. Going forward, Zimbabwe stands ready to scale up partnerships and welcome investments from the People's Republic of China for a shared future. They want us to prosper, they want us to develop. People centered, multi pronged social economic development initiatives towards consolidating our country's food sovereignty and the climate change mitigation. Adaptation and resilience remain key priority areas for my government. Similarly, we look forward to additional investments and partnerships from the People's Republic of China and other jurisdictions that will help capacitate our young people in the fields of science, technology, and innovation to leapfrog our industrialization and modernization agenda. Of course, through our engagement, re-engagement policy, Zimbabwe is a friend to all and an enemy to none. But there may be those who choose to be enemies, that's their choice. In conclusion, I express my gratitude to Prospect Lithium Zimbabwe and all stakeholders for the success of this project. I once again assure this entity that my administration will continue to entrench a favorable investment climate for initiatives such as these to succeed and grow for the benefit of both investors and the people of our great country. To the board management and staff of Prospect Lithium Zimbabwe, I urge you all to keep adhering to your defining organizational spirit of constantly pursuing excellency and striving to become stronger and bigger. This is a win-win cooperation. You make your money, we make our revenue and acquire expertise. With these remarks, allow me to declare the Prospect Lithium Zimbabwe processing plant officially commissioned. I wish you success as we move together towards achieving a modern and prosperous industrialized economy of our motherland, Zimbabwe. God bless you all. God bless Zimbabwe. Share, share.